Hi everybody, Greg here from SLR Booth. Have you got a printer that you want to use with your photo booth, but it isn't AirPrint compatible? Well, using an inexpensive single board computer called a Raspberry Pi, you can create an AirPrint print server that will allow you to connect your USB printer to the SLR Booth app for Android or iOS. To get started, you'll need one of these, a Raspberry Pi. They're available for about $35, and you need a few little odds and ends to get it up and running. You need a USB power supply and a micro SD card to run the operating system. After you've downloaded the operating system onto your SD card, it's relatively easy to set up a print server. We're going to need to install a few packages, namely CUPS, the common Unix printing service, which is actually the backbone of AirPrint, the Avahi daemon, which is what's going to enable AirPrint, and the Gutenprint drivers, which has a library of printer drivers for common printers. So we're going to install these packages using apt-get, which is the package manager for the Raspberry Pi operating system. So this command is going to install the packages for us. Now I've pre-installed them, so it's going to go a little bit quicker on my machine, but it shouldn't take too long. Once you've got them installed, you'll need to make some changes to your CUPS configuration to allow you to administer your printers using the web interface. To do that, we're going to edit the CUPS configuration file. And there's a few lines we need to change. So first of all, here where it says listen on localhost, that will let you use it on the Pi itself. But if you want to access it from a different computer, you need to change it to listen on port 631. So you can just comment this line out using the hashtag character. Next, in these location areas, we're going to add this line to allow at local. So you're going to add it to this one, this one, and this one. And then we're going to allow access to our Pi user to administer things. So you're going to add require user Pi at the end here. And then further down here, where it's all these modify and add printer commands, same thing, you're going to add the Pi user. When you're done, you can press escape colon WQ to write the file out. And then we're going to restart cups. There we go. So once that's done, we can switch over to the web interface to set up our printer. So this is the cups web interface. And from here, I can go in under administration and then I can add my printer by clicking Add Printer. So it's going to show me a list of printers that it's found. In this case, I can see there's a local printer, which is my DNP DS620. I'll click Continue. Sure, I'll just use the default name, but I'm going to check Share This Printer. And now I need to pick the driver. So in this case, I'm going to go DMP and choose my model, which is the DS620. And click Add Printer. And now it's going to let me set up the defaults for my printers. So I want to print four by sixes, and I want the best color and high resolution. So we'll set those as the default options. There we go. And just like that, I've set up my printer. So now, once I'm in the app, I can go under Printer Settings and choose Printer. And we can see my DNP DS620, which is shared via AirPrint on Pi Booth. And it's just that easy. So as you can see, the Raspberry Pi is a very useful little computer that you can use to air print enable a printer that might not have that feature built in. Thanks for watching everyone.